Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Nikki, where we discuss love, marriage, life, and so much more. This video is going to be a little bit different. I know y'all been seeing a whole bunch of destination wedding videos. That's just because I was trying to get that out to you as quick as possible. I know that it's about to be wedding season with all the engagements that are happening during the holidays. Um... This video is going to be about my infertility battle. So, um, as you may or may not know, me and my husband have been trying to have a baby for a few years. We were trying before we even got married. Um, and it just wasn't working for us. So, I have a son from a previous relationship. Um, and he is eight years old and, um, I don't know what to say. This video is probably going to be harder than what I thought. Um, so I have a son from another relationship. He's eight and I never planned on having children and then I had my baby and then everything changed. So, now that I'm married to the person that I think I'm supposed to be married to, like it feels right, I want to be able to give him children. And it's really hard talking to people about this because mostly everybody I know, they either have kids or their significant other already has children um, by someone else. My husband doesn't have any children, so I feel obligated to give him a baby. And I have been trying very hard. I've been stressed and tracking and doing all of that just to try because I, I feel like that's my duty. Um, so we've been trying to have a baby for about three years now. Um... We put the pedal to the metal after we got married. We had already been seeing a fertility doctor before we got married. Um, then after we decided to kick it into high gear. I have secondary unexplained infertility. Um, when I was a teenager, I was told that I had PCOS. But no one has ever really talked to me about my PCOS now. So I don't even know if I still have it. I don't know. At all, actually. Like, I think I got told I had PCOS at like 16. Um, but I don't, no one, it's not like it's being tracked or it's not, it's just, we don't talk about it. So, and no doctor has ever brought that up to me before. Um, I have had cysts on my ovaries, but no one's really talked about the PCOS. Um, we tracked, we used ovulation strips, we used um, special lubricant, we timed it, we did it every single day, we did it every other day, we used the sperm meets egg plan, we waited and did it only when I was ovulating. I mean, we've tried everything and it's just not working. Um, I had an HSG done and I was told that my one fallopian tube was blocked and the other one had no definite spillage so they were not sure if my fallopian tubes were even open and they weren't sure if both ovaries were ovulating um working properly um my follicle count and all that came back okay um, so that's the only thing that we could think of is just that my fallopian tubes are not open. And instead of the doctor doing exploratory surgery, she just opted to go straight to IVF, um, due to the fact that my tubes were possibly closed and my husband's sperm count came back great. However, his motility, so I'm under the impression that motility is like, we say like the sperm swimming straight. Um, his motility was a little bit, um, it wasn't as good. It was like off by one point. Um, 
So we decided that we were going to do IVF. So we got all of our authorizations done and all of that. And we are going to start IVF in January of 2020. And of course, it's December of 2019. So we're starting IVF in January of 2020. Oddly enough, my mom had me through IVF. I was her third round of IVF. Um, my mom, my mom and dad's only child. Um, so it's odd that I was an IVF baby, and now I'm getting IVF to possibly have a baby with my husband. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna be making more videos about my infertility and things that I am doing. Um, and I'm definitely going to be documenting our IVF journey. Um, every month I'm praying that, you know, we get that positive. Um, I have had two positive pregnancy tests in 2019. I've had two pregnancies in 2019, both ended in early miscarriage. Um, and I've also miscarried multiples, um, before my husband um so just dealing with miscarriages alone early or late i had late stage miscarriage with my multiples and early two early miscarriages this year with my husband so i, I hope that my videos are going to help someone i know that i go to youtube looking at like all kinds of videos for pregnancy and all that so i really hope that this helps someone but um yeah, I'm just going to try to share my fertility struggles um, with you all and hopefully share the good news of us having a baby together. Um, so just be on the lookout for more videos and don't forget to like, comment, um, share, and subscribe to my page and hit that bell for notifications i will try to release videos hit every that bell subscribe below hit that little bell and also make sure you like this video please and thank you